All right, so in this next step, we'll be taking the export from Masterpiece VR and optimizing that in ZBrush. This step could be done in any major 3D package, including Blender. And the aim of this step is to optimize especially the polygon count of the model, which can be quite high when you export from VR. You can actually take the model directly from Masterpiece VR and bring it into motion. But there's a few things here that we can optimize a bit on being polygon count with decimation. And also we can limit the number of subgroups in the model. Next up, we load the model um, from ZBrush as an FBX file directly into Motion. And as you can tell here, the model comes in with the vertex colors intact. Uh, and we'll then want to move the root bone to the pelvis area of the model. Next, we can then start drawing in the bones of the rig using the rigging tools and the basic draw tool. It's a very straightforward process of just placing your hand and then hitting the trigger where you want the bone to be. You'll be surprised how often you'll get this right on the first try. You might also notice that I added an extra bone for the elbow pad area, and that's because I want to be able to rotate that individually. Here I'm drawing in the fingers, and again, it's a very straightforward and easy process of just placing your hand and clicking. Once I've drawn in the arm and leg of the model, I open up the rigging modification tools and use the mirror bones function to quickly mirror the bones from one side to the other. So that completes the rigging part of the process here. And we can then open the skinning subcategory and use the auto skin and the simple approach, which is the standard. If you look closely at the chest area of the model, you see that we have some unwanted deformation and the next step will be to fix this. So let's head into the skinning subcategory of tools and select the basic add tool. You can change the size and you can change the fall off of the brush. Use the A button on your main hand to first select the mesh you want to work on and then select the bone that you want to influence that mesh. So for the head, for example, I pick the jawbone um, with the A button. I select the jaw mesh with the A button and I can then draw in the, the weights there. And to those of you not used to the terminology, weights are determining the influence of a bone over a mesh. Red being complete control and blue being a very small amount of control. A robot like this of course you don't want the, the hard surface elements to bend too much so usually we will just want to link one bone to one mesh but for an organic model you will often have a case where you need a mesh to uh, react to multiple bones and when you want this you can use the smoothing brush in uh, the weight painting tools or you can turn the strength of your normal weight painting tool up or down and then manually paint in a soft gradient between bones. So once you've finished weight painting you can head into the pose tab um, and here you can start posing the model. You'll be able to save out several poses and switch between those easily to test out how well your skinning and rigging works. You're also able to export the, the model in a skinned format and I'll cover that in a minute. For now, just take a look at how easy it is to change the pose of the model here. So let's head to the file menu and select export selected model. In here we choose save as FBX. Uh, we name the model and when you are prompted to save the project, select no if you want to export the post mesh. And here we are with the result of this little tutorial.